It's such a long day. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to the top 16 the ARG Presents State event here in Florida. We're in beautiful Miami. It's uh, the PPG headquarters, is what I like to call it, or the Wolves Den. The best players in the world at Dragon Ball Super call this place home. And I'm here with their leader and chief, Mr. George. George, say hello. What's up, guys? How's it going? Haven't seen you all day long. Yeah, you've been, you've been actually uh, judging and running the event, which is uh, pretty cool. Considering uh, it's your shop, I mean, how how has the event been? It's been fantastic. Everyone's energy is just so great. Everybody's been showing so much love. Everybody's been having a great job, uh, great time. You yeah. know, even despite like maybe like all this controversy with the the rulings and the erratas, everybody seems really uh, comfortable, and everybody's having a great time. And these guys are you know playing the game with so much passion. I love it. You know, oh, absolutely, it, it, absolutely. I, I can't I can't love I can't enjoy it anymore. As you know, as a TO, as a judge, and now as a commentator, it's just what I love to see for this game. Right, absolutely, I mean, you guys sold out, which is fantastic, and that's what we really want. Um, and uh, I'll tell you, the coolest thing about this, which makes me so excited about this matchup, why I'm so excited this is our first top 60 match, is we have Colby Garish on the left playing Mono Green Androids. He's a member of the Kitchtail Meta Pro team, and he's playing against Eddie St. Hilaire, the one and only. Uh, captain of the PPG match. I thought, you know, I'm Kitchtail Meta. You're PPG. We'll commentate our two boys playing against each other. This actually fit in perfectly. I know. As, as, <laughs> as it as it's, uh, as it's, uh, uh, turns out, it does uh, fit pretty well. Uh, now, in this matchup, we have, uh, again, Colby playing Androids. I think he's a little favored against uh, Vegeta for a couple reasons that we'll Absolutely. get into. Uh, mainly because of the Cell combo. Uh, but with that being said, this isn't an unwinnable matchup by Eddie. And Eddie being, in my opinion, probably the best Vegeta player in the world um playing against uh, androids actually round two and took home the win so this isn't a match that's uh that eddie um you know isn't good at he definitely knows how to beat this and i think his deck is somewhat prepared to deal with it with uh, the monaka's main board that we talked a little bit about uh you know what do you guys think i mean you've seen eddie play a lot more than i have absolutely um now as a vegeta player i mean i i, I picked up vegeta the last event actually i, I went on that same train hype and i actually had a really hard time against cell it's just you really need to know how to play that play that matchup so methodically. Like a small little mess up. If that cell hits one or two more cards than it's supposed to <laughs> when he resolves it, it could be you could be in a world of pain. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely absolutely. That's why I talk about all the time, you know, with Androids, uh, is that every time you play Androids, no matter what deck you're playing, you have two phases of Androids you have to get past. Number one is the cell chain. Number two is what I call the steroids. And that's whenever he gets to, the androids get to four life and all their androids get five, plus 5k. And it's like, that's it's a good like, way of looking it's like, at it. It's like the end boss. It's like, you know, it's like when you fight a boss on the video game and he's like, here's all my his minions phase. are insane right. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like so tough to get, to get past both of those phases. And honestly, it's just, it takes a lot, like you said, a lot of finesse, a lot of experience. And Eddie is the person to do it, in my opinion. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Androids make it so much harder than just a regular cell leader, actually, with the cell chain combined. That's actually what I lost to. It was just a cell chain with androids because they could awaken at six so they're just getting more cards than you yes much earlier and it just makes it so much more devastating especially when you're trying in vegeta to keep your advantage and then at the same time making your opponent trade for the cards that you're investing so you want to invest two cards you want to make them invest three but when they're recuperating that extra one or two cards a turn it really throws off the math and it really puts them back into the game absolutely absolutely and here we see you know eddie coming in with this strong double strike uh, critical uh, which is, you know, again, pretty devastating. But that's one of those things when you play against Vegeta, you just have to know it's going to happen eventually. You're like, here it comes, whatever, take two of my life. I'm going to make it up in the late game. And again, like you said, now Colby's going to be able to awaken. He's going to be able to draw some cards. He's going to be able to get that card advantage back and uh, possibly get the cell chain off. But most of the time, androids like to wait and try to bait out that awakening from Vegeta in order to get the most, the max amount of cards with the cell chain. And the problem is if Vegeta decides to wait, he's like, I'm just not going to awaken. What are you going to do about it? It's like, well, I'm going to play Chilling Terror. That's my three cost, 15,000. Actually, cost two in this deck. Uh, whenever you awaken, you don't draw cards, Vegeta. And then Vegeta's like, well, that's going to be hard to deal that with. That card's extremely <laughs> yeah, hard to deal with. Actually, in Vegeta, little... when you have no removal, actually, and you see Eddie playing a certain type of way, he's dedicating a lot more cards to his combos, his plays. He wants to minimize the 
impact of that seven drop sell if Colby if that's Colby's game plan but Colby obviously has to see what Eddie's doing here I mean they're both excellent players Absolutely. of course so you have to adapt sometimes you don't have the same strategy as you normally do Vegeta's strategy is to have a lot of cards in hand but obviously against this matchup you got to just totally switch it up and you see these two players adapting perfectly to this and you know that that chilling terror is something where it's a double-edged sword. I mean, like you either play with a lot of cards in hand, awaken early, and then get hit by cell, or you play very you know passive or aggressively like Eddie is, dedicate a lot of resources, and then really get hit by that chilling terror. So it's like, yeah, like, sometimes like, you don't win. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Like we always talk about all the time. Uh, whenever you play against cell chain, this is cell or androids, you have to efficiently get rid of your hand before they can cell chain. It's how you play around cell chain, right? And Eddie is doing that by making sure the double strike uh, attack uh, hit. It stuck. He dumped, I think it was four cards. So now his hand's not really that desirable right now. It's not really that good to cell chain. And so now Colby's going to have to find ways to put more cards into Eddie's hand. And that way he his cell chain will be more valuable, be more impactful. Uh, a big part of this uh, deck, the Androids, why I think they've had a little bit of a resurgence in popularity is the uh, overall cards. Uh, what something, Something's happened in this game that people really overlook is the fact that you can sell chain up to your 7 drop. If your opponent kills that card, it puts exactly 5 cards in the drop area, which lets you uh, mass sand. So then, then you can play Mass Saiyan and kill whatever they play to kill your 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 seven drop, and it's like you just get the board right back. And that, so it's just it's just it's it's, so good. The resource is. game in Cell has gotten so much better, even even better with the Cell leader actually, because all those cards that you're putting under Cell, you're just dumping that back into your second resource, yep. which is so fantastic. Which is the only actual build that I've tested of Cell. I haven't actually tested the Androids with the new Overrealm cards, mm -hmm. but that whole Cell chain that you brought up. That's an excellent point uh, as to why the Overrealm just goes s that extra mile in yep. this deck. Yeah, it's just so much efficiency, um, and that's what this that's what this deck uh, runs on. Which I guess is pretty flavorful, right? Androids are all about like efficiency and like you know, <laughs> must kill human infinite, you know? <laughs> infinite like, energy, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's We're tapped out, but we have more energy. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly, and that's uh, and they definitely do it in this deck. Uh, Colby, you're running a very um, unique uh, mono green version of the deck. Uh, I talked to him quite a bit about this. I begged him, please play red in the deck. Mighty Mask is too good. There's that uh, chilling terror we talked oh, about. Oh, really? So not even blue? No blue. Just wow. blue green. He thinks it's it's cleaner. It's much more efficient. He likes mm -hmm. the way it works. And I'm just like, man, I, I like Mighty Mask. I, that card, <laughs> that you, card I mean, I you almost it. have to pay me not to run that card. Like. <laughs> no, yeah, that card is excellent. Uh, so much resources. It fuels your second resource, your graveyard, and it gives you more cards in hand. And it gives you the best card in your deck, the yeah. 10K. Yeah, as it turns out. Yeah, and what's so great about that card, too, is it also it does what Androids wants to do. So you play out the Mighty Mask. You attack with it. Your opponent either has to spin a card to stop it, you from putting a card in their hand, uh, so you get value out of the attack, you get value out of the sack. You know, a lot of a lot of decks don't get value out of that attack, but you know, androids do. And like I said, I think it's just a lack of maybe some other red drops that kind of make it kind of awkward in androids. But I would have really liked to see some maybe red androids in set three would have been really cool, like shift them to a different uh, color. But you know, androids don't need any more help. I'm telling you, their set three stuff is absurd. We Keeping it consistent. Green is so strong already, and they're just getting a whole nother arsenal. There's going to be so many different ways to take this android deck, which is why I'm probably going to end up tweaking with it a little bit. I haven't oh, yeah. actually. I think I tried it a little bit um, when we were messing around with the whole loop with playing like the bigger androids and then using the smaller three drop androids to restand them and then attack mm -hmm. again. That's what I really like the interaction in that deck, and then having the like, the little small chain of like seventeen standing eighteen, and then eighteen, you know, like the small ones standing each other. So it is an interesting deck, and it's gonna get a whole different angle now. So I'm really excited to see what uh, set three's uh, in store for the deck. A absolutely, and we, here we see Colby doing something that I think a lot of players have been mis have not been doing against Vegeta decks. We've seen about three decks on stream. Uh, that play Vegeta, Eddie, a couple other people, and I've talked about this quite a bit, and they do not pressure Vegeta on their turn, and they need to. Uh, one of the best things you could do uh, is to pressure Vegeta on your turn, and that makes him have to defensively use his combo cards instead of, you know, to keep them and just burning you out with them. Um, especially when you have Chilling Terror on Phil, because what he's doing now, he has Chilling Terror out, and he's trying to pressure Eddie's life to force Eddie to have to awaken to defend it, and it's just fantastic. That's what you need to do. You have to be more aggressive against Vegeta. I know it's scary, but you can't let you know Vegeta set there with 14 cards in their hand and just go all in and destroy you. So Exactly. I mean, you don't want to play the long game with Vegeta, even though they are a short game deck and they're obviously like more more powerful in the early game to the mid game. They they can end up 
a lot of with a lot of cards in hand, especially if they have an awaken like in this scenario right now. Eddie's in a tough spot though. I don't know how he's gonna get rid of that chilling terror. Obviously, <laughs> Colby's not gonna attack with it, right? <laughs> because if you attack with it, then it's vulnerable. You kill it, and then you just lose. But you see Eddie with a lot of strange cards in his deck. I don't know exactly what's in his main deck, but he's playing a Guardian North Kai. I know, that's so weird. I thought that was so weird. Is it just like, is it just a I thought it was just, just in the sideboard. But uh, his strategy, what I've been seeing him do all day, is just attack, put pressure with that Gotenks. As you see right here, it's putting so much pressure on Colby. Absolutely. Usually when you see that tapped, all your attacks are going to it. Everything that you can is going towards that card. And he plays a Guardian North Kai just to... Just to go right in just front of it and just sense. protect it. Yeah, sure, it's it's really essentially smart. a negate if you think about sure. it, but you're spending the mana when you want. So when you have that extra energy, instead of you, you know, bluffing, maybe keeping an energy up, you just have that free negate at any point, essentially. Yeah, you also can use it as a combo power if you need to. So you know, if, exactly. if they decide never to attack, you can just go, okay, cool, I'll just combo this. Right. It's yeah, like a negate exactly. that has combo power. Exactly. It's not an event, which is what Vegeta <sighs> does not want to play. No events, unless it's Monaco, something that cycles. Right, but right. Here you see a cell chain. Here we go. Seen a couple of these today. <laughs> As it turns out, I'm going to get that five drop and probably choose this Gotenks, but we'll see. Maybe he might be aggressive. Choose some of these combo cards. Uh, I mean, he could attack. technically maybe hit the Guardian and then attack into the... Right, right. I mean, that's... But here, I, I think you just want to drop him on life. Eddie might want to just awaken here uh, to start attacking next turn. He, I mean, he could awaken on his turn right. to start drawing, but sometimes the value of chilling terrors just presence absolutely uh, and you not flipping and then not getting the value back i mean you're gonna lose some value sometimes right. you just gotta take right. it exactly i think that's a really smart way to put it because i think a lot of people when they see chilling terror out in the field they're just like i'm never awakening on the <laughs> yeah. and i think sometimes it's you have to like, bite the bullet and be like to. okay whatever <laughs> like i have to, i can't sit here in 10k mode exactly. and fight this, this <laughs> and just take cell. everything everything to <laughs> yes, the face yeah, I, you know? I have to eventually you know understand that this chilling terror is uh, pretty devastating it's pretty chilling. It's no pun. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not chilling at all. It's fine. So let's see. We got uh, more full power trunks. Uh, all of them almost in the energy now. And it looks like he ha he might have the fourth one there as well. Yeah. Eddie really heavy on green right now. Yeah, I like what Colby did here. He actually didn't go up to seven drop yet. He just attacked with twenty with a uh, five drop. You know, Eddie again that Kai coming into play. I mean, that's that's, so a, that's much a huge. That's so much pressure negated by a Kai. Because <laughs> I feel like Eddie has to awaken here now. Just try to recuperate a card, and now Cell can still be a threat. There's no way in Eddie's deck to get rid of it. I don't know if he's playing Manaka. He does have Sun Goten right now in hand. It looks like he'll yes. drew Sun Goten, so he actually can use the Sun Goten to get rid of the. Oh, Terror there we awaken. go. That's the out. I'm like, how does this deck deal yeah, with it? I yeah. forgot about Sun Goten. Yep, Sun Goten. But he is has so to good. attack with like Boo here. <laughs> like it's weird. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a weird situation he's in. Or he can just flip the Vegeta draw. I mean, like draw on the attack. Obviously, not yeah. you know just take it. Or no, yeah, you have to attack with a Boo here. He's you would have to yeah. attack with and Boo. Then you can just draw the two. Find something to play out of his deck, out of his hand, or just bite the bullet, like you said. I don't know. It's a tough decision. Does he have another attacker in hand, or he I, just I has? I know he has Sun he has Goten. A bunch of combo. Sun Goten, full power trunks, and another card, I think. See what he decides to do here. He takes some time, counting up his cards. Again, guys, this is top 16. This is where the big boys play. Yeah. Now, these guys are going to take their time. They're going to make sure they make the right play. They're going to figure out what to play out here. And he taking, oh, man, this is such, again, I'd say this all the time, but Vegeta a lot of times loses by one card. <laughs> like, it happens <laughs> so many times. It's so close. The, I know. It's, I'm telling you, every card is valuable in this deck you cannot throw extra cards sometimes comboing you can't even there's magic numbers that you need to hit in every scenario and if Absolutely. you hit too much if you throw too much up oh, there's a sun there's a goten so there's this threat and he's gonna tap out for this yeah, i can't see if i can't tell if he attacked into um if he attacked into uh the five drop to try to get it off the field or mm. if he actually attacked into uh, yeah no leader because he's discarding on the auto right there okay yep, yep. yep so it's leader okay so 20k into i think it's it's 15k now so yeah, so Goten does have to attack a leader for the auto to trigger. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna... going all in now. You think he's going to try to end it this turn? I, I mean, well, he's topped, uh, tapped out, and he had to get the value off that, but I don't see how he's going to survive that cell swing unless he has an untapped trunks, it's... maybe. Oh, yeah, th there's the upta untapped trunks right there. In his yeah, hand. it's the last card, right? Yeah, no, card? the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unyielding spirit trunks, being able to untap an energy if he does... 
Well, he is going to swing with that Vegeta. The question is, is he going to take a life? I don't think so here, because then you lose to the double strike. So he's going to just play it conservatively here, and he might be attacking the cell here. Was that right? Yeah, it was yeah, 15,000 okay. and 20,000 here. Perfect, so he yeah. Can get some cards out of Kobe's here hand. Kobe did, yep. get a, uh, did get a kill, which is devastating. One of the worst cards to play against as Vegeta. Not only is it a 20,000 critical striker, it also draws your opponent a card, which is just devastating. It's a 5k combo, so it doesn't clog up your hand. Right. Which is this, that card? I got. I'll tell everybody. I'm like, man, you can keep reading that card, and you always find something new. And I always think about like maybe if you flip it over in the back, there might be more text on the back that I missed, and maybe that's another effect. That was a good one. Let's see what happens here. All right, so that's it. Eddie's gonna pass turn. We'll be having tons of energy up in here. So what he's gonna do? He's gonna go in here, fifteen thousand to fifteen thousand to Vegeta, drawing freaking twin brother. Here it starts. Now, I call her Big Mama, but the five drop Android 18, I think is just one of the best finishers in any deck currently. I love that card. I do too. Four cost, 25,000 in Androids, uh, double striker, your opponent discards her card when you attack, and you can stand it with twin brother. It's just like, I've seen so many games end by that that card just alone. I've seen I've seen people just play it out and their opponent just scoop. They're like, I can't beat that card you have to attack with it. It's whatever. I'm a really big fan of the other twin too, especially with everybody playing Cell Chain now. Mm -hmm. You just restock that hand, and it's just so fantastic, especially in Goku when you're playing with like three, four cards all the time. You know, it it helps you like overcommit maybe on a combo, and then you just replenish all the cards back. It's just so good. Yeah, absolutely. I know in, in, in Richmond, I actually put uh, three of those on my sideboard just for hand destruction. I was like, ah, this is my idea. This That's is excellent. how I'm going to try to get back from hand destruction. I think it's a very underrated card. Uh, drawing four cards... Uh, can be you know, obviously pretty good, as <laughs> no, it turns yeah. out. <laughs> it was fantastic for Chris at Indianapolis. I think it was one of his main players in the sideboard. It's just such an excellent card. But I think both of them are just fantastic in their own right, both Android 17 and 18, the big five-drop forms. Absolutely, absolutely. I could imagine even better in Androids because now they're, they're, che they're cheaper. Yep, yeah, and they have five thousand more power. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is I stage mean, two. That's great. Twenty-five yep. is that number that you want to be hitting. Yep, twenty-five. Uh, Jacko getting in for infinite value there, hitting that one mana ten k that you always want to hit. I mean, that's what yep. Jacko's in there for. It essentially becomes fifteen k combo, which is so good. Ooh, Kobe decided to go ahead and go up the cell chain here. Maybe he's, I think he might be going to get another five drop, maybe kill a go tank. That's what it looks like he'll probably yeah. be doing here. I don't think he'll go up to seven. No, that wouldn't make too much sense. Let's How many just... cards does Eddie have? Eddie has exactly three cards, I three? think, right okay. now. So it doesn't seem too. Maybe for the power to. Yeah, there it is. No. Yeah. yeah. Going to kill, draw. This is a, a play that I'm noticing a lot of people don't realize you can make with this card. Uh, it's very. Um... When they're playing around the seven drop. That's a great way to, start <laughs> to punish playing. him. Yeah, <laughs> yes. to punish him exactly. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Everybody always asks me, like, Dusty, what deck would you play? I always say Androids, and they're like, Why don't you play Androids, Dusty? I'm like, Because I can't. Because I suck <laughs> at it. Like that's why. Like it's such a hard deck to play. I feel like. I yeah, mean, it's no, so it's very intricate. Hard. You got to so... play the numbers. Sometimes you draw too many of the stage two, or you just got to like mm -hmm. not draw too many cards at certain points, and that's why the cell leader sometimes contradicts with the whole cell engine, and it's just you know. I've played her before, and it's just, it it's gets so weird, tough. you know? It's I so draw tough. so many, the seven drops love me, you know? They're, they're my best friend. <laughs> so, they can't be your best friend. They literally have to be your worst enemy and stay in the deck if you want to see, a, you know, a huge success with it. But you see a lot of players, you know, I could just draw average and still get there. It's fine. Here we go. All right. Oh, man. Big Mama, we this talk is... about her a lot. Here we go. Discard a card, go down the two. Can your two cards stop this? Now, surprisingly, Eddie does have Triple Striker in hand. He's keeping that. I think that might be his only way of winning. Like sneak in an attack yeah. with the oh, Vegeta. Don't come in here to worry about Vegeta. You know, yep. it's, gonna be, it's okay. <laughs> and then boom, hit him with the boom. trunks. Yep. Because on the one card in hand, that one card. Ooh, and Colby gonna pass. Okay. Mm. So Colby saying he's you got know what? a bunch of five Ks in hand though. So he it doesn't does. I don't look. Think very he has a trunks good. or so. Doesn't look very good for Eddie. Actually, Eddie. Eddie does Eddie have a a, a triple striker in hand? He does. So he yeah. runs. He runs all four of them. He does. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you, Eddie, I never forget the first time I ever watched Eddie play a game. We were we were casting for Danny Hype's uh, hyperbolic time chamber tournament. It was like freaking three months ago or something. Actually, it, seems, it feels like it was forever ago. And I was like, who is this kid? He was just like, boo, Boma, boo, 
Choppa, and he just had like all these one drop. I was like, this guy's plays every one drop in the game. You know what I mean? And then he would swing with like a boo and combo everything in for like 120,000. I was like, this kid broke the game. Like, <laughs> this like, kid broke the game. He broke the game. He's Dude, broke. He's changing the rules. <laughs> and I was like, holy crap. But I just love to see the way his deck's evolving. And I mean, he's been playing Vegeta for so long. It's just, it's, it's hilarious to watch him play and just see how good he is at the deck. Like, he does stuff I just don't even think about. Yeah, he's one of our Yu-Gi-Oh players from, for, you know, from the heart. So he's always about those, um, you know, deck thinning, uh -huh. uh, you know, plus ones, advantage, card advantage. Like Absolutely. he really values those things very highly. So every time he deck builds, he just always makes sure to put those things uh, a, a little bit of spice into each different deck, and he does do it in an unorthodox way sure. for sure. So I uh, really appreciate his deck building, and that's why he's usually playing. The only different deck from the team. You sure. know, it's usually yeah. him and Marcel playing like some crazy. They'll both be playing maybe a, a different Vegeta deck. Mar uh, surprisingly, Marcel actually went to Goku this time. Which yeah, was, no, I thought that was uh, awesome. I was just like what? I'd say he made a play, and, and, and he's been doing great. He, he finished has been first. Doing fantastic, yeah. After we, Swiss, so. we, we were watching him, and he just oh my, he did a play that just blew my mind. He had six cards in hand, and he resulted. These results are training when he was at <laughs> whenever he was at four life. Yeah. Uh, and then essentially um, went down to five cards in hand. Um, I'm saying he had seven cards in hand, went to six, played Kel out, and then tapped with Kel to draw the card. And so he essentially just used results just so he could draw a card. Off of, I was like, I never even thought about that. Like that's just like yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like yeah. g -g 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 that's like you know a next it's level. Like, what? Yeah, I was like, holy yeah, crap. Yeah, Marcel definitely has a, a unique thinking pattern for sure, which, yeah, which is, is why I love watching these guys play always. Yep, absolutely, that's why you get so much out of watching high level games. I tell people all the time. You know, if you don't have a lot of time to play, there's three things you can do to get better at the game. One, read the rule book. Learn the rule book. I don't mean that maliciously. I just yeah, mean, like, learn all the interactions. Two, there's read, so read all the cards. Just get really familiar with the cards. Number three, just watch people play the game. You learn so much stuff from watching people play the game. I'm telling so you. So unique. There's so many unique ways mm -hmm. and combinations of ways that you can use cards. It's just... Okay, I Colby. really don't think anybody's fully figured it out, but what's happening here? So Colby's going to, you know, uh, stop the attack with the Chilling Terror. So it looks like uh, Eddie was maybe doing what we talked about, mm. which had a sneak attack in there. Just yeah. one little critical in, sneak attack. Eddie went down to two, did he? Yeah, he took a crit. Yeah, he tried he to crit, a crit, and then oh. yeah, Colby took it. So he just has to pass. I think. I, I think, don't know if the crit was, hmm. I think Eddie just knew, like, I have to try it. Like, I have to try to sneak one in here, maybe just, you know, catch him off guard and then come in with this Trunks. Uh, yeah, we'll I don't see. know if going to two was the most wise decision. He's got two lethal attacks on board, and who knows if Goldie even plays, you know, further in just Trunks or Champa, which I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Many Cell players out there were actually playing the further in just and Champa. Mm -hmm. That card is just, like I say, that card is just so surprising. You just don't expect it. Especially uh, not in aggressive decks. Right. I mean, you don't see Cell as an aggressive deck, but it can hit you hard. Yeah, it, it, really, uh, strike. it really came into play at Hartford. There's yeah. a lot of yeah, a lot of self decks that just oh, did yeah, that. Yeah, that's how Alejandro, Ale and David were just Wrecking every every it. yeah every after every game one just maining it in and just taking lives with it. No pun. A little bit of a lackluster <laughs> hand here. I think he's just going to try to use as many cards as he can out of his hand to try to stay alive. I think if I think Eddie thinks if he can just survive. Oh, is that another eighteen? Yeah, I think he might. Why didn't be... he? Oh, maybe. Uh, oh, oh, okay. He's just evolving. I thought he was just casting it. Okay, so he's going up the cell chain here. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get that more, that a little bit more power. Yep. Eddie only three cards in hand, so he will not have to discard. Lethal attack incoming from that perfect cell. It looks like Colby might just be dumping here. Thirty thousand to fifteen thousand. Yep. Colby, uh, looks like what's in hand. Looks like he says no combos. I can't, I can't quite see Colby's hand. It's, I think Colby does have a twin brother in hand, so I think he's just trying to bait stuff out oh, so he okay. can play a twin brother. Mm. Stand. Yeah, he did have a twin yeah. brother, I think. He, he can stand uh He Big does Mama still have right. a leader attack, so yeah. uh, there go two cards in Eddie's hand. And Ooh, yep, here okay. we go. He still, right. ha he still has enough for the twin brother, too. So he's just going to try to crit that. Now he has two life, so you obviously don't want to swing with the leader. You want to take away that last card, don't right. give it to Eddie, and then hit him with the leader. So playing it very conservatively and very That's smart because just, Eddie can I, have Jacko and could, then just blow I it know. out. So sometimes you just got to have like, I, I, it terrifies me. I, I hate going all in. I hate attacking. <laughs> I, I like, I always feel there's like so my, many times yeah. that it goes wrong. Yeah, and exactly. just like, it's like, what could I go lose. wrong? Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I lose. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's just very dangerous, especially against a Vegeta deck. They could always just come back and then just kill you. Oh, and there's Jaco. Which Eddie was sure enough playing you know and crazy? holding in his hand, and boom. 
This deck, a game. this deck, George, this is absurd. Because not only, okay, so he, he has a free, another attack. So he goes, I have another free attack, I want to attack you. And if Eddie stops that somehow, he goes, okay, I'll, take, I'll play Twin Brother. I have another attack. Oh, by the way, I restand my, you know, uh, my 18. I have another attack. It's like, he still has and three. And you're losing he, your card. <laughs> it's like, he still had three more attacks. It's just like, I'm telling you, I am terrified of this deck and Apes come set three. These are the two decks where I don't think you can beat them. It's going to be so terrifying to play against these decks. They yeah, get so many more new tools, and I'm just I'm just terrified. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so terrified. I'm just, just going to cry. I'm excited. I really want to try oh, a lot too. of new things, and I, I don't know if that... Apes looks very interesting to me. I know a lot of people have already been playtesting with this stuff uh -huh. on Octagon, so they already have a little bit of jump on what exactly is going to be played here. But I think there's a lot of things that people are just overlooking. I mean, the set is huge. Oh, it it's is. 200 it's ginormous. What, it's like 210 plus or yeah, something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I we still, we still know all the cards. Heard. Yeah. We still don't know. Like, we don't know what all the tournament promos do yet. Oh, true. Which are going to change. It could change so much. Exactly. And we, we know you can see promo Gohan. Right. Like Goku Black made mm -hmm. a whole, like, that deck was insane for like two weeks right I, before I, Mecha Freezer came I out. Still, I actually think Goku Black is actually still pretty good. It is. Like, I think it's actually I'm still playable. I'm surprised nobody played it this event. Yeah, I am too. I, like, I think that card is... I expected Broly because I know yeah. Broly's very good against the Goku matchup. I don't know how the Broly matchup is against Android. I, I could assume not that bad. Yeah, I don't think it would be terrible. I don't know. I mean, there's definitely other decks that are viable now, especially because it seems as if Frieza's been pushed out. Mecha Frieza. Sorry. Because yep. there, there is two Frieza's now that we actually have to refer to. Golden and Mecha. I see gold. I see more Golden. I see all the guys that used to be playing Mecha, now they're playing Golden. Yeah. Yep, Golden's pretty cool. I mean, the Golden's a cool it's deck to good. watch. It's so cool, and 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 uh, we you guys had a good result uh, result with it at Indy as well. Jo uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, I think every leader that can like cheat energy, right? And by cheating energy, you effectively cheat cards, and right. you play these cards for less than when you they were normally intended to cast, and in result. They're normally very impactful, yeah, especially when you play them for cheap. Yeah, because you'll you'll see a seven drop. Okay, like in this game, you'll see like a seven drop. We'll take like uh, like Beerus for example. Very powerful card has an extremely powerful effect. Twenty five k triple striker makes you discard two. Powerful, powerful effect. Okay, but if you play that card on seven, then if that card doesn't kill your opponent or heavily damage your opponent, you have the potential to die in return if you tap out. And Soul Striker and Golden Frieza turn the card where you can actually play it on seven. And have energy to uh, to defend yourself, which is like no other decks can do that, right? They have to wait and play the seven drop on eight or nine, where it's more safe uh, for them to do so. And by the time they get there, they usually are dead by then. You know what I mean? So it, it it lets them play cards on curve, is what we call it, and it's a very powerful ability. It's exciting because you these are all things that like not a few cards changed everything and made this deck like pop out of nowhere. I feel like these were all contending decks, and they were never really looked at until. You know, when Mecha Freezer came out, nothing, like, started at Goku was, I, I guarantee, not being looked at. You know, oh, yeah. there was still people playing, maybe a few people playing it. Like, I did see it in Orlando, but it wasn't like, oh, man, what, this was the answer, you know? Like, right. it always takes some problem solving, you know? And I think when Union Force dropped, everybody was like, sell, sell, sell. And then they were like, okay, there's other things that might be, you know, a little bit good against it. And then Mecha Freezer came out and then kind of pushed it out. So that's why I love seeing it. Like, it doesn't really need new cards to evolve, and the game will just evolve on its own. Absolutely. Because the players will just generally just gravitate towards like a certain towards a way. deck, and someone will exactly. find out how to beat it, and then someone has to figure out how to beat that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, shifting in the meta in this game has probably been the most aggressive I've ever seen in a yeah. game ever. It's, yeah. I think it's very healthy too because oh, yeah, we absolutely. had we had a streak where we had a different leader win every single event, mm -hmm. and it was just cracked by Goku winning two in a row. Yep. So and yeah, now it was, you're gonna set uh, it was three? Cell and then Vegeta. Right? No, it was Cell, then Mecha Frieza, then Vegeta, then yes. Goku, and then Goku. Exactly. Which is, which I mean, I think is insane. You don't see that guy. That's kind of, insane. And, yeah. Plus, not to mention how many, tr it was like two Trunks decks in top uh, eight yeah. of, of, uh, of Indy. And, and they were, they, they were even I mean. in like the top 20 in the, in the, in the event before that. So absolutely. And then I mean. Golden, you see like two strong top four finishes that arguably could have won the event, but you know, they were just both paired up against their worst matchup, Vegeta. Yeah. And that's how they both fell. I, I think if they were being played, if they were playing against a Goku deck or any other deck, anything but Vegeta, you could have seen a Golden Frieza win. Oh man, but that would have been crazy. Sometimes the matchup is just, you know, not unwinnable because there is winnable matchups, but when you have high high level players like these and then you have a a favorable matchup, like just a favorable, it, it just has to be 64. Yeah, it, it doesn't yeah, have yeah, to yeah. be 8 It could even be 5%. Yeah, it can just be 5%. Yeah. And you'll just edge it out because 
you put in the work. Obviously, these guys put in tons of work. They they're very familiar with what the decks do. Then you know you can edge it out sometimes. But yeah, that's why one of my favorite things to do in this game, and it, it, it has been more so this game than any other game I've ever played, has always been deck building. Like I love deck building in this game. I love that's why I love streaming it. That's why I love you know every night I'm on there like building different decks and trying to you know find different ways to sneak in an advantage in the meta or whatever. It's just so much fun in this game because the leaders aren't. Like in a lot of these games, like if you played Android, you'd have to play green cards or something. But in this game, you don't have to. If you you can play a green leader and play all red cards, you can. You know what I mean? It's just there's so many variations, and set three adding in so many more cards, it's just gonna be. It's so much. It's like a, a deck builder's paradise. This yeah. Game. You know oh what my mean? god, so I'm I'm so excited. I don't even. I, I've tried to like look at not look at the cards too much because I really I'm I'm a person that I have to have it in my hands. Okay. You know, once right. I have it in my hands, and I can visualize it so much better. Like I can. I'm not the person to be like, oh man, I gotta go on Octagon. I mean, some people will, and right. they're great players, obviously. But I just gotta see it. Like, it's Hold just it, so touch exciting. It, smell yeah, exactly. It. Mm, mm, this smells smell good. Like? This smells good with this smells one. Like right, yeah, this is okay. perfect. <laughs> it smells like a champion. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Definitely, definitely. But uh, uh, okay, I think Eddie. Cho- uh, well, the loser chooses to go first right. here. So well, I mean, you mean Eddie, Eddie gets choosing. to choose? Yes. Okay. Eddie choosing. So I don't know. When I played Vegeta. There were certain matchups that I like, I liked going second. Okay. Because I just want to hit my opponent, and I want to have that extra card. Because in Vegeta, you want to have those extra cards. Um, and you hit your opponent for crit first. So I'm not sure exactly what he's going to choose in this particular matchup. But me, honestly, it really just depends on the matchup. I'm going first and second. Sometimes it's not just like an auto, I'm going to go first, you know? Right. Oh, it looks like Kobe. Yeah, he did opt for Kobe to go, go first. first. Yep. We see Trunks coming down as energy. Now, what is yep. this? Is a cyborg card? Um, I'm not quite sure. I think last time I talked to Eddie, he was actually maining this. Like, this was the deck that Eddie, Marcel, and Alejandro were on for Indianapolis. And they were playing the Bulma to search that Trunks. Okay, okay. So, But it was a mono blue deck. Now, it looks like Eddie's shifted it around. So incorporated the green bigger. that Marcel did in... Orlando and one in Las Vegas with and now it looks like he's playing both trunks now so he has an option to get a green mana or a blue mana okay and they're both castable creatures so it gives him flexibility and it gives his plus ones his you know small drops another dimension okay so yeah so he's not actually thinking about playing this often he's just Saying this uh, right now, I need a blue energy, so I'm gonna go use Bulma, search a blue. It's also a great yeah. card. I mean, like you can cast right, right, it. You see yourself right. casting it. You're like three drop, critical, fifteen. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try a little bit. I'll take it sometimes. You know, I'll take it sometimes as energy. I'll, I'll play it as mana, just like full power trunks. Right, right. Full power trunks mostly energy most of the time because it's it's just much heavier, but it's just there, and it's a 10k. You know, so now actually he can get a 5k instead of a 10k sometimes. Okay. So if he needs a combo with it. Seems That's good. really smart. I actually like that Trunks a lot, by the way. I think that Trunks is no, a yeah, it's as well fantastic. Too. It's a, you can get Triple Strike, which is absurd. Absolutely. Also, guys, remember, I have a little bit of downtime here. Go check out ProPlayGames.com. Pro-PlayGames.com. They do have the set three up. Singles are up, ready to go. Ooh, so if you guys everything. Wanna, yeah, all the you, singles. You want to pre-order those singles, get, get a shot. I'm telling you guys, buy all the pan stuff you can buy. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. She is amazing. She's my favorite leader in the game. If you guys ever see me, I'm just going to be playing pan all the time. I'm just going to be like, she is like so much fun. I think she's so cool. She's so defensive. Even right. if you don't, just look through the catalog. Like you can start reading everything. Everything's on the website. Absolutely. Nice ta- text written through. Most, I think, like eighty percent of it already has like pictures and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So you could already start planning on like what you're gonna pull or whatever. We obviously have the boxes and the starter decks and all that stuff yeah, on there. Def- so definitely, um, make sure you guys get your hand on those starter decks too. Definitely. Starter decks are, are no, those amazing. starter decks are sleepers. I see yeah. a lot of people pre-ordering boxes and not starter decks. Those, those, that like, red, that, that the red starter deck is so good. I'm like, it's so good. I'm That's, glad. Band, I really did need more starter decks. I, yeah. I really I do. Like, I have my own pre-constructed starter decks in store to get people just into the game. That's so I just smart. make $5. That's, I'm like, yeah. you want to build a trunk stack? Yeah, here's a cheap like trunk stack to get you like started. Like a starter. That makes sense. Nothing that's going to break the bank, but hey, you're going to get to playing yeah. Dragon Ball because what? it's only $5. What are you losing? Yeah, what do you call that? It's like, I think they, they do those like at like, I don't know, baking cells, like they're boosters or whatever. It's like you, you buy like you know the some core cards from trunks and you can add to it with singles and stuff and exactly make it, i'm so like cool. look that's smart you yeah. can make this better every week if you put like five or ten bucks, yeah, five bucks in it. That makes you sense. just it, we'll put some rares we'll put some super rares it's gonna be great and we've gotten so many people into it that way and it's just fantastic i love it i mean the demo decks sometimes aren't enough and the starter decks not sometimes right. enough like i don't want to always play blue i don't always <laughs> want to make people play sensu beans and 
Sensu beans five dollars? What? You know, like <laughs> I'm sorry. Sensu beans are so good. But all right, cool. fantastic. We're already okay. here. So can, also a, a great one drop, I guess. I mean, like since you're not playing the red package, so I think it's a good replacement to manipulating God Champa, which is something that I think the this Vegeta deck definitely needs and. Uh, another chilling terror. That's not something you want to see as Eddie, but he Eddie. does have the Sun Goten. Yeah, so. he does. He does. Yeah, because the last game he was a little greedy and he and he used the Sun Goten on his first attack. Yeah. And I think I think you realized. I think he error. learned. Yeah, I think he was like <laughs> this time. <laughs> Fool that, me once. That was definitely not a smart move by Eddie. He obviously knows that there's chilling terrors in this deck. Maybe he just put it on. You didn't have it. You know, sometimes you got to put your opponent on. Better have it. Right. And right. Kobe mm -hmm. had it. Taking some time here, decide what he wants to do, if he wants to attack with this or not. Definitely gonna attack with Lita though and get a card. Andrews is like one of my favorite aggro decks because like they they don't get punished for attacking the leader. Right. I think that's why I like Vegeta a lot too. You know, so he good. doesn't get punished for attacking the leader. I love trunks, but trunks just feels like you give your opponent as many cards as you get to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm gonna double strike you. And it's like before you know it, your opponent has you know thirty two cards in hand, and you're just like, Well <laughs> Yeah, you can't like beat no it. No critical in that deck almost right. unless you play Mira. Which I like. I haven't seen enough Mira in these Vegeta decks, and it's really getting me sad mm -hmm. because I think Mira is just an outstanding player. It's so yeah, it's it's absurd. Twenty thousand uh, for for was it for four Overwhelm? Four Twenty thousand Crow, which 30, is almost crit. like one turn yeah. of like a decent combo. You know, can't wait to see what happens here though. All right, here comes Chilling Terror. Oh, he's actually going to oh, attack. Oh man, with he's Chilling attacking Terror. with yeah. Chilling Terror. He really wants to get that Sun going out, but I don't think Eddie's going to let that die. Or maybe he will because he can just kill the the chilling terror. So the Gohan did his job here. That's why I love those one Ks. They're so good. Like, it's a defense, and then on top of that, it's also taking another attack. So for one mana, you're effectively guarding two attacks, which Absolutely. is so great. Absolutely, that's why I, I'll tell everybody about Pan in the next set. It's so good. You play these body card, uh, the Vegeta on your opponent's turn. You actually draw a card off of it. And it's insane. Like it's like it's just such a defensive deck. It's so much fun. And these cards, again, that's why I love this game. Is when a new set comes out, these past cards don't just get overlooked. Like they're they, they almost raise in value. You know what I mean? Like Sensu beans are good cards to get. These body I call them bodyguard cards, but these <laughs> body these, guards, these like Gohans and Freezes and Vegetas are great cards to pick up. You know, for people getting getting into the game, want to get some cards going into set two, pick up these guys. They're and so it's good. funny because nobody was actually playing any of these. Like self summoning combo guys at the beginning, like nobody. Know. Like it was TN, and that's it. Yep. P TN because it has this great ability. I'm awakening myself, and all the other ones were just like. Hmm, I think Mecha Freeze next started terrible. playing them first. And they probably, yes. they, like they started playing them, and yep. people were like, "Oh, okay, I see." George in the sideboard yeah. winning, uh, <laughs> you know, ARG uh, Wait, is Orlando. Eddie about the charge, Sun Goten. <laughs> Did I think so? Yeah. I think he he must have a second one. He either has a second one, or he's just going to make thinks sure he that, could just like kill yeah. them. Yeah, but Kobe has one mana up, so I, I think that might be too greedy just to think that. Oh man, this is an easy. Oh yeah, he does have another one. I saw it. Oh, he does. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. I was like, here we go. Come on. So no, maybe he's like playing this. mind games. He could be playing mind games here and yeah. be like, Kobe, look, I'm going to charge this because I I have enough power to take down this chilling terror, and then Kobe's going to overcommit. Oh and sure. And then maybe yeah. Eddie just goes and kills it, and then Kobe's like, oh man, I shouldn't have defended. I shouldn't have. I think yeah, that has to happen a lot, you know? especially that happens, with you know? especially with Kel. Kel is like one of those cards that you can like attack into and bait so many cards out of your opponent because they want to save that kill. They're like, I got a card back. Yes. It's fine. And then you're just yeah, like Beerus, to, kill it. Or, yeah. And then you're just like Beerus at the end of it. Yep. Kill it. But a fantastic strategy, though. Uh, you see it with a lot of cards, like Result of Training, even. You know, you're just like, oh, I'm just going to charge this Result, and you're like, oh, man, my opponent has Results. Here we go. Here's a play he's talking about, man. Oh, He's yep. attacking. See if he can bait some cards out. Yep. He's not even is going Kobe to leader gonna here. Is fall for it? Let's see. Yep. Ooh, he does go good. All so, right. essentially... Oh, he's playing the Unified Spirits? I know. I, I just saw that. What? I was like, what is this in here for? I don't know. Is that in the side? Is that the one That's that kills... Board, yeah. That's uh that's trunks Overseaches. and so trunks looks for uh, you reveal a goten out of your hand and you kill a three or less card. Oh play. okay. And then the the goten looks at the top seven and picks a trunks card and puts. Oh the okay okay. So in. maybe he's just playing the trunks or is he playing? Do you know if he's playing the whole the full package of unified spirits and gotenks? Or like the six drop gotenks? Yeah. Oh I don't know I don't I don't think so but that would be that would be nuts. Because that's weird if he's just. That's a card. Sight of gotenks is a card I thought. We would see me so too, much play. Me too, man. I was so like, excited for that card, but maybe, too. maybe next set, maybe yeah. next set. You know, it's it a, only takes like a good support system or a decent support system to make these cards just oh my god, so good. But I really want to see that card to come into play. Psyched up 
Psyched up good. Psyched up good. Psyched things, up. Yeah. It seems so good. It comes into play, kills something, draws you two cards. It's like, what? <laughs> like, insane. The overrealm ability kind of hurts that, though. It does. Uh, we actually, me and Scott are talking a little bit about Is it. Is that a Gotenks there? Yeah. 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 So it looks like he's playing both unified spirits. What are we so using for, though? It seems so not, out of place in this deck. It's not too far off for us to assume that he's also playing the Psyched up Gotenks. 15,000. Do we have the deck list there? Or no? Uh, we don't have them here, but sometimes, oh, okay. yeah, sometimes we do. Well, by the way, that's a question we get a lot. What do you guys want to do with the deck list? Are you guys going to send them? Are you guys going to post them up on the website? Or you yeah, guys might as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No reason not to. Definitely, we're going to be posing them. Are you going to do maybe, just top maybe, sixteen? Maybe you some do deck all profiles. Of them, I'll probably do top sixteen. Yeah, for okay. sure. All of them, a hundred seems kind of uh, a lot for me to post. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to let you know, Lester has been like the MVP of the day. Fantastic, yeah, he's, he's, he's been he's absurd. He's awesome. Been great with all these transitions and oh, just been amazing. Making this solid and smooth as possible. By the way, Dusty does this. Usually by himself, which is crazy. I don't see how. Like, Thank so you. I definitely got to give him credit for doing this all himself. I don't know. I don't see how he does Appreciate it without it. you know a left hand man like like <laughs> like Lester. But yeah, it's um, uh, it's it's yeah. been making your job so much easier. Though. Has, Aren't you been, glad? Yeah, so I'm saying it's like I've been like treated like a prince. I come down here. I you know I, I fly down today. I get here. I get food uh, every I round. Get free, drinks yeah, every free round. sprites and <laughs> in a can, which by the way is like the best thing. You could lure me into a van if you just pay, if you just put cans of sprites. <laughs> Right, up to it. I'd Man, be like, so excited looks a little shady, cans. but <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's Sprite. I don't know. I'll go for it. Oops, don't hurt me, Twitch. I'm sorry. That's it. Ain't. I'm so not used to this. You know, fantastic. <laughs> we haven't had Twitch up for like a year, by the way. So thank you guys for once again tuning into our revitalized Twitch channel. It's actually come back from the dead. And we have a fantastic complement of streaming equipment and commentator now so that we can learn to use this effectively and keep bringing you guys top quality content, maybe as top quality as Kitchen Table Meta. Well, dude, go follow you guys. Go follow him if you have not, because I've been telling people every time they go to our YouTube channel, I'm like, I'm sorry, we're not doing enough. You need a complimentary channel. Please go see Kitchen Table Meta because I think both of us complement each other so well. well I do too. And you I, get I, everything that you need in one place and two places. Well, but I, they're not I, too far off. Right. <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, but you know, that's the thing is I really appreciate you saying that. Thank you so much. Uh, though like I said, I'm just like a fat nerd that sets out and makes some videos. <laughs> you know, you, you have to run a business, man. You know what I mean? You're doing a fantastic job. Like I said, I'm so envious of I come up here all the time and I just see this absurd, amazing store where, you know, all these players are fantastic. They have all these product, all this product on the wall. They have singles. It's just like these, these, your, your players are spoiled up here. Yeah, they're, spo they're yeah, so spoiled, spoiled man. They, yeah, they, yeah. they take it for granted sometimes, man. But um, no, they're fantastic. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it without my support system, obviously. So I couldn't be, I mean, I, nobody could do this by themselves. So at the end of the day, I'm just trying to, you know, make the community happy, make these guys happy and just, you know, make this a wonderful place for everyone you know i yeah, want to make I mean, sure everybody's having amazing. a great time everybody I, i've talked to i don't know how many people i bet you 40 people days come up to me and talk to me and like <laughs> i just keep telling them like dude this store is awesome and they're like yeah we love and come here all the time this is amazing i was like I, they're like what's your store like and i'm like oh. <laughs> i've heard that it's, yeah it's it's kind of like this but the opposite <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like this but it doesn't exist <laughs> it's just in my head it's in my dreams and i i want to be there i want to go <laughs> No, yeah, a lot of these guys just live here. It's fantastic. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so Mass Saiyan. Mass Saiyan is just a, That's an extremely saying. good card. It is. We talked about it a lot before in it's Game so 1. Good. And I'm telling you, this card just gives so much value to androids. Like I said, if you kill one of their their uh, their uh, cells, they just get a free you know, Mass Saiyan. And it's a it's a big threat to it's a 20,000 double striker. And if you take the hit, then they can just, oh, you know what? Did you take the hit? Cool. Guess what? I'm gonna sell chain you again, and now you lose your you lose those cards you just got. It's, it's just, just so like, good. It it's, is. it's that's dealing with the board, and then you got cell dealing with the hand. It's just a perfect duo, a mass saying and it's time like, and time like patrol trunks. Table meta and PPG. There yeah, it is. Right? What are you using? Exactly. <laughs> uh, we're definitely the trunks though. The trunks is insane. <laughs> 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 but no, fantastic overrealm cards that I think you want to be including in every deck, at least two or three copies. I mean, maybe the Mass Saiyan, I see maybe like one, maybe two, right? you know, and then the Time Patrol, like a two or a three. But they're fantastic cards. But like I said, set three is going to shake up so many things because oh, you got all wait. these new oh. overrealm cards. So yeah, what are you going to do? You can't play too many overrealm cards. Yeah. Are you going to be charging? Is that going to be a regular thing, just charging your overrealm cards? Like, that seems pretty... 
I don't know. Like, you, that, that seems risky. It does. It does. And the funnest time when it comes to building decks for this game is whenever you get into a situation where you put all the cards that you think are good in a deck, and you have like 80 cards in a deck. And you're like, yeah. what do you mean? Sometimes yeah. I just wish this card this deck was like <laughs> 60 at least. Yes, absolutely. Or no deck limit. It'd right. Be like minimum 50. <laughs> Maximum a hundred, you know, yeah, George, not to the point where you're bringing your suitcase. Next, yeah, come to the next regional three hundred card decks. We're like, we did it, boys. Yeah, I got to talk to Bandai about that one because <laughs> it's just getting Absolutely. ridiculous. There's too many nice decks and then uh, nice cards, and then you're here with like twenty decks, and you're just like, oh, man, which one I'm gonna play, and which one am I gonna play today? It's tough. <laughs> like, oh it's man, so tough. I don't know. All right, so cell chain from here. Uh, Eddie not looking. Uh, no field presence at all. Two life. So Colby storing six. down a cell. It just it's never a fun time is, when Vegeta is playing cell. And it's funny because it plays out in the show. It plays it does. out it just does. like Actually, in the show. Me and Eddie talked it. one time, and me and him were talking about it. He said he's kind of found this uh, his theory <laughs> that if it gets beat in the show, it beats in the game. Yeah. Which I think is the, the actually the most hilarious theory right? because like I started thinking about, it, I was like, this guy's not too far off actually. No, like he's like. I love how they did. I don't know if they did it on purpose. They must have done it on purpose. There's no a thing, no way a thing like this is such a coincidence. Like, <laughs> I don't see it. You know, Goku Sonaka. betting Goku beating Mecha Frieza. Like, come on. Or, you know, I'm pretty sure Trunks could beat Mecha Frieza too. You know. Oh, uh, here's a good question. When do we get deck lists? I want to order that Android deck. Is it true you guys include free sleeves for orders over a certain amount? <laughs> Free sleeves, unfortunately, not. I would love to. Ultra Pro does. Uh, they are our sponsor, but they're our sponsor for our players. Unfortunately, not all our customers. That would be fantastic. I really wish that was true. But we do package it very professionally. Sometimes we put it in a nice little deck box. It's like a little deck case. Um, and we take a lot of time making sure that the order is packaged nicely and shipped out as fast as possible. So, And you'll always get the cheapest price. And you'll always get the best selection. So sometimes you got to order like... Two temperature trunks from this buyer, and then one, you know, kale from here, and right. then another kale from here. No, we rather you just get one big bundled order, and we try to be the most competitive on every price. Sometimes some cards are just too high demand, and you just got to a little bit higher. But at the end of the day, you'll get the best value and the most convenience and the best service. So uh, we pride ourselves in that. So definitely check out our website before you ever have, like, any doubts about going, like, somewhere else or anything like that. Just give us a look. And Absolutely. Usually it's just worth the time. Time, you know yep and chris and chris says uh you know the meta is going to change uh i'll tell you what chris normally i'll be on your side here but i'll tell you what if you're going to buy an android deck i completely completely suggest you go do that because these new set three cards are only going to make it better I mean, it's not going away i promise sometimes it's, it's just worse to wait yeah yes, you know? absolutely. and you've yeah. seen it with cards like kale how yep. much was kale before it was like, like six what, bucks like six bucks yep. six dollars for the longest time, For the too. longest time, man. I remember when Jace the Mind Sculptor came out. Now it's just gotten banned in modern. But when it first came out, it was like $8. And that, it, it ended up being like $130 before no, they yeah, banned yeah, it. You to know, this it's day, like yeah. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? Insane. So, like, yeah. You know, sometimes always, you need to get these It's cards. always good to get play sets in this game. And it's just so worth it. Yep. Yeah, right. Jace being unbanned was insane. Back up to 130. That's insane. For those of you who do play Magic, I mean, I dabble in all these games, so obviously I'm never just like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. I mean, I, I you know, I played Magic on the, I just played Magic uh, a week ago. It's just, um, it's fun to play all these different games. But it is. You learn a lot. A lot of times, honestly, guys, if you play these other games too, you learn a lot of stuff you can apply to Dragon Ball. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, it's worked so many times. So you're 25,000 Big Mama 18. Oh, uh, and man. Android into a Vegeta, and Eddie's going to have to ditch a Trunks out of hand. At least Eddie recuperated some cards in hand, and yeah. that Monaka dealt with that cell, but it's just... I like that Monaka tech a lot. No, yeah, it's fantastic, because it's like a Beerus on three, essentially. I mm -hmm. mean, it sets your opponent back, especially when it's against a cell, but when it's against an Android like 18 or 17, it doesn't feel too good, because right. then you're just casting it again. I mean, it's essentially a time walk. You know, they lose a turn. But it's not exactly what you want to be doing uh, right. against Cell. It's just or any Union Absorb card. Actually, it's just extremely efficient, especially if you're not going to have too many cards on field. But right, exactly. And like the cool thing is, is like you know, if if, if you bounce on Androids, they can just play it right back out. Yeah. But yeah. if you bounce Cell, they can't. Yeah. <laughs> They're no, like, well, with Cell, you're just like, <laughs> well, I less, I guess, I just lost a creature and lost a turn. Yep. And Pretty gained good another for energy, energy, essentially. <laughs> you know, I just moved my cell to my energy and skipped my draw phase. I'll oh. tell you what, I'm not going to be happy until it's sold out on PPG. But <laughs> again, Pan Leader, really good with Monaka, as it turns out. You can play out Monaka and draw a card for playing him. Bounce a card, you actually lose a card. 
I want you guys to buy a pan out. I don't want I don't want PPG to have a pan in the store. Right. <laughs> I have so many pans. Oh no, I don't. I mean, not yet. I mean, they're like I guess in the future. But I'll definitely have a lot. We'll have more than enough stock on everything for the most part. But yeah, definitely. I I think I ran almost ran out of shoes at one point because people were like just, just doing trolling those shoe buyouts, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> I even man, my I told uh, I heard stories from my shipping department. They're like, man, these guys with all these shoes are so. So tr- like trolling them, they're trolling their lives, putting them in like a shoe hell. <laughs> Pretty scary untap here by Colby, untapping with Big Mama out. This, yeah. this allows him and to now, play a second one or a twin brother. Eddie's at two. He's untapped, but he's at two, and he has a negate on board essentially in that What's guardian of North Kai. He's going over. He's going after Monaka. He's actually attacking into the the, the leader here. He's going leader. Uh, okay. I guess is he's trying to draw something. Trying to draw maybe like a uh, a um, what's it kind of thinking of? A twin brother. Trying to maybe draw a twin brother here. Uh, local customers should have a option for in store pickup. I don't think it will let you do in store pickup if your order is too large. That's the only thing that I've seen. From like some international customers, they try to make like this huge order in store pickup and then ask us for shipping. And I, I don't know if TCG Player allows that because it takes too many cards from our inventory. But that's something I'll definitely follow up with them and voice as a concern. But there should be in store pickup options as long as your order is not too big. If anything, just split your order in like two different cards to in store pickup. But it should be available for all customers. Yeah, in-store pickup should be no matter where you live, you know. It's just on the right-hand side as soon as you go to checkout. When it says standard shipping, expedited shipping, in-store pickup, just in-store pickup. As long as your orders are not too big, you should be able to do that without a problem. And if you can't, just email us the list of cards and we'll put it aside for you. And we'll do all the work for you. Send us like a screenshot of your cart and be like, hey, I can't check out with this, you know. So you don't have to type it up. And then send it over. Our shipping department's very... Very good with helping out um, with any problems, but man, two exterminating energy. Oh my god, Eddie's in a really bad spot here. This is pretty bad. This is just he's losing cards, he's getting hit for 25. It's a dumb card to survive. It's oh just man, pretty rough. Yep, how many cards are in what three? He has, yeah, it looks like two cards in hand. Two cards, no, three. no, no, three. no, it has to be three. Yeah, okay. Did he discard for the auto yet? Yeah, he did. He, he did? Yeah, okay. He, he okay. just untapped, I believe. So it doesn't seem too bad, but it's just... Two big man. mamas. Two big mamas in the house right now. <laughs> she's cooking in the kitchen she's right cooking, now. Yeah, she's cooking up some discard. <laughs> side of double strike. She's hungry for that hand. <laughs> Ooh, Eddie with the Mira. Oof. Nice. Yeah, Mira with that further, furthering destruction Chompa can be a very devastating... He actually Combo. decided to take the take the crit here though. Go to one card to get that extra card. He's going to try. Crit? Yeah, he took oh. he took the oh it's his turn. Yeah, he's attacking. Here. Okay, and he's yeah, attacking no, him for fifteen thousand crit here. Maybe trying to do something. He's trying to dig as many cards as possible so that he can try to go for game here. But I don't see him going for game. I mean, Kobe's at five. Maybe yeah. he's just bluffing. Is he going to combo? He's not going to combo with Mirror, right? There's no way. That's like your oh no. Oh, no, he, gassy, he decides okay. not to attack with Vegeta instead. Okay, okay. So he just played the mirror, didn't attack with the Vegeta. And he has another Monaka in hand, so... Does Colby have any cards in hand? I think he doesn't. I think he does. Yeah, I think it's right in front of him. It's, it's like Oh, little, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's okay. like it blends in perfectly. Yeah. Maybe just one. I, I don't see him having too many cards in hand. I mean, he's only, he's still at five life, which is still a lot. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like, you gotta think, if, if he gives double strike... But he gets... Uh, if, if he gives double strike here to Mira... And then gives double strike to Vegeta, and then attacks in with Monaka. That's the only way he can win the game. Obviously, by looking at his hand, we see that he doesn't have the ability to do that. No. But it seems very unlikely that he's going to win the game. Actually, he does have two, two double strikes. Two He actually yeah. does have two. Right. So he could. Yeah, he he can... could give double double. He can do it. Wait, no. He tacked in the he tacked in the big mama there. So actually, he can't have. The oh ability. whoa! Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I would have done that. It really just depends on how many cards in Colby's hand. Right. Yeah, I don't recall. I'm not a play here, buddy. If it would have been one card in hand, I think you just go for it because... Well, 
actually, because Colby has a few cards in hand, if he does have a few cards in hand, the chances of him having a counterplay next turn to Eddie's like board extermination, his little swing here, then Eddie might be in a good position. I mean, he's at one life. Like he, so, like, I don't know. That's like kind of dangerous. Can, like, yeah, I feel like Kobe can just go in on the leader attack. He will, if he can. Yeah, like, Depends I don't know what he draws. How many cards in hand? Yeah, so he only had one card in hand. I think that, that was a Trunks, right? Trunks? A yeah, Kale, Trunks a Kale, and a Kale. Trunks and, yep. yeah. Kale and a Trunks. Nope, that's not good. Yeah, no, it looks like it's game over right there. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it might be game over there. Oh, he's summoning the Kale. Oh, no, he's comboing with the Kale? Yeah, it's comboing. 20,000. And we know that Eddie does have a Jocko in hand. He only has, what, one card in hand? Two cards in. One card in hand. One? Just a Jocko? No, it's not going to be enough. Colby oh, just... Colby just... has to dump two. He has what? to dump the Trunks. Well, does he? Or can he just go... Can he just go 15 here if he stops it? That he just plays Trunks out and combos with mm. it. Yeah. Well, he Jockoed back the... Yep, Kale. And it's over. Oh, has a five trop. Okay, yep. It's oh, over, folks. Man. Kitchen table meta takes down PPG and Dusty, get out of here. No, okay, just kidding. Yeah, well, I, okay, I was like, I'll uh, yeah, up. fantastic, Sorry. fantastic match. Uh, Colby, well, well, well versed in this matchup, as you can see. Absolutely. Like he didn't go all in. He knew what Eddie generally had in his hand. He knew what he could do and what he can't do. Absolutely. And he just played to the advantages, and it was just so well played by Colby. Props on him. I mean, that was a favorable matchup, but Android's showing his strength. But yeah, but I mean, it's to so be fair, fantastic. It is a favorable matchup by a large margin, too. Yes. Like, it's by, it's not, and like we talked about 60 40. I'd say this is like 80 20. Uh, it's very, very tough for Vegeta to, to beat this deck for a multitude of reasons. You know, it's a it's a deck you don't want to attack early because it gets an advantage when you do. It's, it's a deck that uh, can punish you for drawing cards. That's all Vegeta wants to do. Vegeta has absolutely no counter to uh, the Cell Chain or big threats. So it's just like literally everything Vegeta doesn't want to see all bundled up in a, uh, you know, in a package. And it's, it stinks, but uh, definitely, you know... Seems like it always happens that. I feel like Eddie always makes its like top cut and it sets down across from his right? worst matchup. Yeah, yeah like same I thing feel like that, did, that does like, happen yeah, so many yeah. times. He sat down across from from Trunks that had like fifteen blockers main deck, <laughs> and he's just like, I guess I lose. I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's like I feel sorry for him, but you know, he's a fantastic player. Always a good sport too. Always just a great guy yeah, to talk yeah. to. He's very experienced with Cell too. He did very well with Cell in Orlando, I believe he topped that. And I don't know what he did in Indianapolis, but I think he was playing some iteration of Cell. But he's very well versed with the deck, and he played that excellently. Like, there's a lot of lines of play that we were that we, we would have taken that was oh, absolutely, completely absolutely. different yeah absolutely yeah there's and, like, yeah you can see where that you know experience plays in on the way that he was playing but he yeah. played excellently um i don't know what who his next opponent's going to be i don't know if they actually published the the bracket online yet, yeah the they, top they were talking bracket. about doing that yeah they were talking about doing that i'm not sure if uh Chase. that was actually published by our scorekeeper but Chase Windu with the destroy emotes in chat. Thank you so much, my friend. Again, guys, spam those destroys. Where are they getting these? Spam. That's my. Emotes? That's my. They're so that's cool. My, that's my. That's my kitchen tail meta emote. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh -huh. So they can destroy. use those in our chat. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. What? That's the look of fly on that. That's awesome. The man, as always. Thank you. I appreciate that. But again, it's hard for me to be the man. Yeah, he's showing me if up right this now. This guy's the man. I mean, I don't, I only have this man. cool. Dragon Ball Super Judge shirt. That's all yeah, I got. That's super cool. That's, I don't have that. You can get that. You can buy this anywhere. Cool. It's super but guys, again, remember, spam those stories, spam those Akai's in chat yeah. for our, our boy Colby winning that match. Also, guys, those. please ask any questions for me or George at uh, Pro Play Games Live uh, in the chat, and we will answer any questions you guys have uh, and then get out of here pretty soon if you guys don't have any. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 